hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do a quick review on the hair that I'm wearing it's still my gossip girl hair review hair that I did in the last video um, so a lot of people were asking questions about how the hair held up and if I really liked the hair and I wanted to have worn it for at least a month to be able to give you guys an honest review of the hair so yeah so this is the Brazilian hair and I have a full frontal and then I have three bundles of hair in my head so it's the 20 18 16 and the 14 inch frontal and I must say I'm really really loving the hair like with Aliexpress, sometimes it hit, it's hit or miss with the hair. Sometimes they can send you really great hair. Other times they can send you really bad hair. And I must say that this has been one of the good ones. Well, one of the great ones. Because I've had hair where it started out really nice. But then over time, it just started to turn into crap. And after a month, this hair still has a lot of body, a lot of volume. And like the luster is not too shiny, which I've had a problem with a lot of hair. I don't like it to be shiny because my natural hair isn't shiny. So it's been really nice. Um, oh, and I actually just recently colored it because I wanted to, you know, change up for fall. And I don't know, I wanted to go for Auburn look. And it took the color pretty well. Of course, I used box dye, so I'm pretty sure it's not as good as if I used the conventional bleach kit and stuff so I used a box blonde bleach thing so it lifted the hair but it didn't lift it too much and of course my worry was that as soon as I put the bleach on the hair like the hair would start burning or it would just like you know completely deteriorate and the ends because you know sometimes when you color your hair the ends start to fray a lot and the ends look the same as they did when I first got the hair so I really like that and the hair is so manageable like I'm one of the most laziest people like I don't wrap my hair every night and I don't wear a bonnet every night sometimes I just go to sleep and it just gets matted I wake up I brush it out well I put a bit of hair serum in I brush it out and then the hair looks good as new like it is very 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 low maintenance hair and um oh as far as the company uh the lady that i've been conversing with i think she is the vendor uh she's been checking up to see how the hair is doing and stuff which i really appreciate because you know some vendors after they send you the hair they don't really care so she's been communicating with me and just trying to make sure that everything was okay with the hair because initially i did have an issue with the hair where i thought that the ends might have been a bit thin but once i installed it Oh my god I can't even stand on my tippy toes but once I installed it like I just it shows that it is really really thick all the way throughout so I think it was just me being very nervous about the hair initially um it bleached well like I didn't have any issues with the hair after I bleached it it still had the same easy manageability um and I've been getting a lot of compliments on the hair as well so yeah I'm really in love with it like I don't know if you could see it like I kind of like that it has a bit of it's not kinkiness, but like, to me, this is very much reminiscent of African American hair if you straightened it or if you had a relaxer, which I actually really like. Other hairs, like I said before, they've looked very Barbie on me, but this one, it looks really, really good. Um, it takes curls really well, as you can see. I didn't really intentionally mean to curl it. I just wanted to put a couple waves in it, but... The curling iron I have is a really small barrel. It's a really small barrel curler, so it made the curls very tight, which it's fine. So excuse the little white stuff. I kind of went a bit overboard on the hair gel today because I wanted it to lay flat, which it normally does all the time. But because I was doing this video, I didn't want any mishaps and I just ended up ruining it a bit um as far as installing the hair i did install it by myself um so i sewed down my frontal and then i just sewed in my wefts in the back uh one thing i would have done differently would be that i would have added an elastic band because i feel like the elastic band would have helped it to lay flatter because when i put the frontal on i only sewed the perimeter i didn't really sew in between the tracks which i've seen a lot of people do it's been a month that i've had it in so i want to take it out but the next time i will definitely get myself an elastic band that way it can kind of just make it look a bit flatter oh that's the other thing with this hair i love how flat the install is like i haven't been wearing it up in ponytails and stuff that i thought i would have done i still go for my same classic like half side part sorry but um, the install is really, really flat. Sometimes with like uh, the 
conventional closure sometimes it can be bumpy on the sides and this as you can see like I can it's pretty pretty flat I don't want to show you that side because I didn't actually glue it down but um, yeah you can see from the side that it is a really really flat install so I don't mind even though I don't use the frontal to its full creative capabilities I still love the way the finish of it so I still continue to buy frontals even when I'm not gonna use it for updos or anything like that I still like the way that the frontal looks personally and with the install okay yeah so the way I style this hair every day like I said I wear a middle part or a side part and for the most part I use the got to be glued which I also referenced in my faves video I, and everyone else is using it so you can find it anywhere on YouTube but I just used it around the perimeter of my hair and then I laid the frontal down and then I pressed it down to make sure that you know it's it's down like it's flat it's not going anywhere and then I tie a headband around for about 10 minutes so I do that first and then I get ready for the rest of my day and then I take it off when I'm going out and that is crucial like before I just did the glue and I never understood why like some of the frontal would flip up but the um the scarf is very crucial to making it lay flat as it dries so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, yeah, so with this, like, you can part it any way that you want. Like, I don't know. Oh my god, what, what am I doing, y'all? Um, I've been wearing middle parts. Oh, and that's the other thing. I did go back and bleach my knots. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, because originally I didn't want to bleach the knots, but after I put it in, well, after the first time I sewed down the frontal, I noticed that it wasn't really blending in with my hair that well. So I bleached it, and I must say it does blend in with my hair very naturally. No complaints. Like, yeah. It blends in really well and the great thing that I love about this is that none of my hair is out and I'm 100% natural so the problem with me with other um, sew-ins is that I can't do the U parts because manipulating my natural texture every day I'm not about to do that so this is a very great protective style especially for people who are transitioning who have like two textures going on or people who just don't want any heat on their natural hair period or any manipulation with it I just cornrowed all my hair to the back and then I put this on and once a week I will wash my hair and that's the other reason why I didn't um sew down the frontal on like every braid is because I wanted to be able to flip up the frontal and you know get in there and wash my hair at least once a week so um yeah I really really love this hair I definitely buy it again I'm going to take it out and I'm going to bleach it just a tad bit more because I did want it to be more of a golden ombre-ish color and then like put some burgundy on it so yeah and then um this is the yeah, the 20 inches, so I'm about 5, I'm about 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and for me, it goes all the way past my breast, past, it's like I need a damn chair, y'all, I'm gonna just jump up, so, <laughs> that didn't work, that didn't work at all, yeah, so it just goes past my breast, and then in the back, it falls pretty much down to my, um, butt bone, so yeah, I'll probably insert some clips in here, or maybe not, of how low it goes. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can imagine. So it goes past my breast and then uh, down to my lower back right before it hits my bum. Yeah, so this is definitely out of the box for me, but I've really enjoyed it so far. And I just... I love this hair so much and I'm one of those people like I like wild big hair so this does that really well especially in its natural state it has a slight wave to it not too much texture but it definitely gives me the big hair appeal that I love um, yeah so I'm gonna I will try to do some updos with it I've just been too lazy like I like to stay in my comfort zone but if anything changes with this hair and if you guys have any other questions maybe something that I didn't answer in this video please by all means contact me and I'll be sure to answer it for you and until next time I'll talk to you guys later